My name is Moon Petri and it is the 18th of Pantstober. Today, I'm going to be talking about a little trick that I have used to help me with my awareness of conventions of genres and categories that I have written in. As always, I am not an expert and this is not an instructional video. This is an idea buffet and perhaps you will like the idea that I have for you today. Now, of course, it is very important when you want to write something to read widely in that category and genre. I think it's important to read widely in general and I try to read a lot of different stuff, including stuff I have no intention of writing. But when you are planning on drafting something, the category and genre have conventions. Readers will expect certain things from that book. Not that you shouldn't defy reader expectations on occasion, but that you should have a grounded sense of what the conventions are. And here is my favorite way to do that. I read a lot. This year my goal on Goodreads is 100 books and I am at about the 80 book mark and I am on schedule to actually read 100 books this year. Nano Welling, I, I, uh, I don't tend to read anywhere near as much during nano months, but I read a lot of different things. And so when I was about to draft the last book that I drafted, I had been reading a lot of middle grade, including a bunch of middle grade contemporaries. And I sat down and made a list of the five or more middle grade contemporaries I had read most recently and things that they all had in common. I did also write down some of the things that each did differently to sort of reinforce my awareness of what the scope of possibilities could be like. But most importantly, I took note of things that were consistent from middle grade contemporary to middle grade contemporary in the last several that I had read. One of the things that's really important apparently in middle grade contemporary is the sense of the child standing on their own two feet even though they're not actually quite ready to do so and thus not asking for help when they need it, not being honest, either just not telling the whole story, not talking to adults when they need to, or actually lying to the adults in their lives. So that was completely consistent in many middle grade contemporaries that I read. Just not admitting to the depths of the problems that they're having at school to their parents or things like that. And I might not have been so aware of that particular convention if I hadn't been looking at all of the books that I had read most recently in that category and genre and making an actual list. So of course, my solution is make a list, but at least think through the last several books that you have read in that category and genre that you hope to be writing in November and what was consistent throughout all of them. Until tomorrow, I am Moon Petri. There's a link to the Pants Tuber playlist below if there were days that you missed and you want to see what I've been up to.